Hi, I'm Zach, and welcome to the first development log video for my upcoming virtual guitar project. Um, so, the goal of this is to play a guitar in virtual reality using Leap Motion input to strum the guitar. Um, I'm building this for the Leap Motion VR Jam that's coming up this fall. Um, so, I have a couple builds to show you today. This first one is just a prototype where I was testing out my MIDI outputs and using a cursor to strum the strings. So, as you can see, we strum fast and louder notes. And we can strum slowly to have softer ones. So, after this build, everything will use the Leap Motion controller um, to strum the strings. All right, welcome to VR. Uh, in this build, you'll see that I have my Leap Motion input strumming the strings now instead of the cursor. Uh, just like before, the faster we go, the louder the, the strings are. Um, some real simple indicators off to the left to help you see when you're getting close to the strings. Um, also, you'll see that I'm using Leap Motion's new image hands here. Um, the glow around my hands is it's an actual picture of my hand. Um, and behind me is an actual picture of my office. So it's kind of a cool augmented reality feel. And there's still lots and lots to do here, but this is the first build that uh, lets me use my finger to strum the, the virtual guitar strings. Okay, let's take a look at the latest build. Uh, the most important change in this build is the addition of this new visual indicator. Um, and the goal here is to help understand where your finger is in space um, and help identify when you're in the strum area. When you're outside this near plane or beyond the far plane, um, the strings aren't going to react to your movements, but when you're between them and this indicator turns white, um, that means that the strings do react to you want to improve on this design, but the functionality is, is what I was going for um, right away. Um, as you can see, we can do some pretty accurate movements and hit individual strings. And we can also strum nice and slow, can go fast. Um, we can also be pretty, pretty accurate about st strumming on individual strings, both up and down. Leap Motion does a really nice job of, of tracking even these fast movements, which is, which is great. Um, so one of the other things I was, I was playing with here is just the, the distance that the strings are away from your hands and how far the strings are apart. Um, one thing I'd like to try is to, to move the strings away from this flat plane and um, maybe more of this this plane here I can flip my hands out um, to be a little bit more like a, uh, like a guitar feel um, so if it's on this plane I could strum through and do my chords with this hand um, so that's something I, I'd like to ex experiment with um, I mentioned the chords how I think that'll work is over here um, maybe an open hand would be a major chord closed hand would be a minor chord different variations of that um, and depending on where you are in this direction it would change the, the, the note of the chord um, and maybe even this direction so maybe you'd have uh, like a G, a C, and a D something like that while you're while you're strumming so that's something that I'll probably work on next well that's all for now uh, please hit subscribe below or follow me on Twitter for project updates and please leave a comment below if you got thoughts or ideas or other feedback about the project. I'd love to hear it.